This is King Erna coming to you guys live and direct. This is the Circle of Honor podcast. You know, we got the Honorable Leek Moss. You know, my co-host, my host, however y'all want to carry it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we just got a little something, you know, this morning. Woke up to a lot of texts. And, you know, well, actually it started yesterday, man. It's just this freak, man. This Cassidy guy, man. Kidding. Now, I don't really want to get into the morning corner because it was like you do the interview. Right. I understand. You know, you were saying a lot of things. And I'm not here to even go back and forth with you about how you felt about certain things. I ain't even here to address how you felt about certain things. That's how you feel. But why pick that time to take shots at Ab? Because I felt like that's what you was doing. How you feel about that? I felt like he was taking shots, like, from the jump. Like, that was his goal. His goal, it looked like he went to the Wizard of Oz for some heart, came on that show, and then began to, you know, figure out a way. Because he didn't want to do it. Because he never mentioned Ab's name the whole time Ab was free. Yeah, number one, son. And that's my problem. My problem is Ad didn't do an interview. Talking about you they they brought up a pretty what pretty flop was saying about you. That's what they did. It goes back though. You know what he's doing that about. You remember when him and Meek had the disagreement and Fat Boy jumped in and Fat Boy said, Listen, man, I honor Meek as a, as a guy from the streets. I got a different respect for Meek. You wasn't home. You was freshly coming home like a week or two later. Yeah. Or it may have been a little longer than, longer that. than that. Yeah. So at the end of the day, when he done that, it went very viral. And it, it, and Cassidy took a back seat and was, you know, I thought he was being humble because, you know, anybody could get on these joints and kind of speak in a negative way. But he didn't do that. He got out the way and it looked like to the people, the type of kid he is, that maybe he was being picked on. So I believe that all this time he felt bullied because he's a kitten like that. You know, like a kid in the corner. So, at that time, he always wanted to shoot an ad. He wanted to say something. But he just knew that he felt in his heart that if he'd done that, some dishonor would come to his way that he wouldn't be able to handle. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, you know, one thing about Fat Boy, man. The way he was talking. I didn't really like the way he was talking. Like, he's some type of, you know... Tough guy or something like that. It's like it's always too late in the game. You know, you don't want to be tough. Why are you on there acting like all right, I'm rumble <laughs> man pretty flock rumble? In one sentence you say, especially not pretty flock, how he gonna be my uh, my bodyguard pretty flock and, and alluded to how big pretty flock was. Right. Then a couple minutes later you trying to get points off of fighting me. It's like which one is it, man? This guy's weird. And my whole thing is don't speak on that. Don't. I'm sick of it. Because you wouldn't speak on him when he was on. So don't do it. That's my thing. Because I felt like that's a hidden agenda. I felt like you've been wanting to speak on him. You know, you let Pretty Flock go ahead and gas you, tank you up to go ahead and speak on it. So you spoke on it. You could have just addressed Flock, you know, express how you felt. You know, y'all friends, y'all know each other way more than it. So y'all can talk. Ab not here to defend itself. I am, though. Then you come to Area Avenue and go to Max's. And now I, I know the interview wasn't out yet, but I know you knew that you did that interview. So you knew what you said, and I just felt like that was a shot. Not saying that like anybody come to Max's is a shot. I just felt like that was a shot. So from here on in, don't do that no more, because I feel like you're playing with me, man. And, you know, I've been chilling. Everybody know that, man. I ain't really been on nothing. And I'm still chilling. But... I ain't gonna really let nobody play with me though. At the same time, I feel like this guy's playing with me, man. So don't come back. Don't do that no more. <laughs> don't play with me no more. Don't come back around here in my neighborhood and you know, like you, yeah, I talk shit about him. I came down here, I got. Don't do that no more. You know, let me know. It's not a beef. I'm not looking for you or anything like that. But don't do that no more. That was that was crazy, man. And, and technically, if if it was that vibe where it was like. People was looking to harm him. This video wouldn't be done. I want people to understand this video is being done because this isn't someone we can just say, hey, hello, how are you? What what was the conversation about? We would like to have a manly conversation 
Because this is Philadelphia. You see where I'm coming from? But I don't do that. With, I don't even have men conversations with men. That guy's not. I mean, as far as I know, that guy's not a man. That guy ain't had five. I don't care how much training he had. That boy ain't had five fights in his life, man. Yeah. Like, I haven't heard of five fights with this guy. So I mean, does like, his neighborhood honor him? I mean, that, that's my thing. Because he that shit to his friend. If, my thing is, if you took all oh, this, you know, they went there for protection and this, that, 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 and the third. Them guys like that, that case happened in your neighborhood, like actually at your front door. Bring that shit to your front door. That's not respect. Was the case that he keeps saying, I, I was facing a light. These them people knew that you didn't do, you didn't bust a grape in that fruit fight. You didn't bust a grape in a fight. Because if, if he did, he wouldn't have got involuntary manslaughter. There's no way. We could, Pennsylvania goes by law. Third degree murder has to be some type of mileage. You have to be aggressive throwing it back. Involuntary manslaughter is something his lawyer got that said, you know what, at the end of the day, they letting this other guy off. They they were saying that he supplied, he got the, the 11 out of 23, the involuntary manslaughter, because they said he's, he supplied the guns. Mm, ain't that deep. Not that you did anything. You didn't do anything. We know that you didn't do anything. Just quit the tough guy shit. Just quit it. It's not a good look. It don't look good on you. You've never been tough. You see what I'm saying? You can act like you box all you want. It doesn't matter if you haven't been in five fights, man. You're a cop. You're, you're kidding, man. You, you, you don't have any heart. No. You don't have no heart. Just stay there. And that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying like you, you... You're you not a fighter, man. That's just who you are. You're not tough or none of that. So you don't have to play that role at all. Just keep ad name out your mouth. That's what I want you to do. Who I want you to, to stop do doing that, though. Who would do that while man in penitentiary? Especially man. while he locked up. I, that was sucking shit, man. And you bringing up these guys that told you know these guys haven't been around. You know that. You know them guys told on you and Ab. Okay, Ab said it a million times. A million times. But I grew up with him. Like he kept saying that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. He told me not to fuck with him. He been saying that. You know, them guys haven't been around, especially since I came home. They don't come nowhere near. You haven't seen them guys around. So to bring that up, like these guys are still running around and you is... I understand you being upset about it because them guys did tell on y'all. But you was never really facing no death penalty or nothing like that. They knew from the... They never said you shot anybody. See you know what I'm saying? Nobody, you know, they're like, no, that you didn't shoot anybody, so. <laughs> you never, you see what I'm saying? You never was facing that, so. I understand you being upset, but to get up here and act like, that's why I stopped fucking with them, and these guys ain't never been with what I need protection for, and this. They was running through, they was giving you trouble in your neighborhood, and you know that. But how much was you paying? I mean, I, I would like to know that. No, I'm saying because you were a lick. See, when, when you hear individuals say what you wasn't doing, you're thinking more or less, oh, man, they think I'm supposed to take care of them. No, nah, after a while, you became a lick for fat boy. Your chain, let's talk about the chain. What happened with the chain? He acted like he gave it away. It was taken from him. He just couldn't get it back. He couldn't get it back. Let's, let, 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 let men, let, let men of honor worldwide. Not even take his... Come on. Come on. It was like you just wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't act full back. So it's like, <laughs> well, you know, the, 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 we don't want to portray or have people on here thinking it's okay to bully kittens like you. So it's like, you just want to come forth and say, like what well, everybody that got honor would want to say, don't bring up fat boy name. You know you have a, um, how can I say, a background. So when you speak, people are going to listen to you. So we don't want them listening to any lies. You're lying. You're acting like you're the toughest guy in the world. You're super gangster when that's never you. And everybody is kind of like in their age limit where it's like, why are you doing this? When it was active time, if, if I'm not mistaken, Gilly pulled up on your block. On your block. And it was live and direct. It was everywhere. And there's other, other individuals. But you're trying to... See, I know I, I could tell this kid. He's trying to take the... The mindset of how you know you ever see me shit when he ran into Gilly backstage. I right. think it was a powerhouse or something. He ran into Gilly backstage and played. Ab was there. Yeah, it was about thirty of them. Right, 
And he told you, I don't give a fuck about them niggas you got with you. We could go in here and rumble. And he didn't fight? No. He didn't no, want didn't no rumble. The girl so, didn't want no bruises. Why are you acting like <laughs> that? Hey, man, all yeah. of you to a one-on-one -on -one fight in a room while you had 50 niggas with you. Right. He had about three. And he trying to take the Meek perspective. You know how Meek could uh, let his friends know here, express, hey, listen, man, I ain't giving people nothing. But let's get an understanding. He already gave. There's a difference. When I give you enough, I give you enough for you to make. We're not talking about you. You're, you're not giving. You didn't give anyone anything that was worthwhile for a person to say, I've been following you around. Meek was situating his friends. You see where I'm coming from? He's situating them and whatever that don't go right, don't go right. But I can't continue to situate in that fashion. He's not taking care of anyone on any honorable level. If I get up today or tomorrow, I, I, I'm going to use another artist because we know we can't use you in this. But And I just run behind an artist and I'm I'm there and I'm helping them out and it's on honor. Because it's like, look, I can't really move around the city like I want to. Look, I know you can come along with me. That requires an honorable payment. So it's not a thing where as though these men are around you and not helping you move around from city to city. Fat Bolden said they didn't been in New York and they had to back people down bluffing. Because they wasn't heavy because of him. And I remember because I interviewed him. Yeah, it wasn't like you guys as childhood friends or nothing like that. It's like, what else would you have them around for if they wasn't signed to you? It's not, they're not your childhood friends. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> Why else would you just have ours? Like, I want A or A. It's not your child. You said you got a different relationship. You knew Flock first. Flock introduced you to A. So what was the reason for that? We know. Man. My man, he he carries it. He got his honors intact. I ain't gonna get into how you carry the how you carry them and whatever flock talking about with the Canal Street, you know, and all that. I wasn't there, and I really don't care. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? However you felt about that is how you should have just took the interview. You should have took the interview and addressed whatever happened. You ooh, why would Ab even come up and Ab got 45 years of people telling him all this and then you trying to make it seem like he wasn't who he was. Of course, he was the nicest guy in the world, but you know he was far from a sucker. That's why you had him around you. Stop with the games, man. Just stop playing with me, man. You and whoever else feel like this is a great time to take shots at Ab. It's not. Stop playing with me because I'm, I'm Ab right now. That's how I feel. He can't respond. I can't. So... Anything you say about him, you can bring everything to me. Just switch the name. Or you don't have to, because I'm going to respond to anything you say about him. So stop playing, man. Stop playing all the time. Kelsey yep. and whoever else. Kitten. At the end of the day, man, we're going to carry with honor. This is the Circle of Honor podcast. We came here to give y'all this video, to give y'all honorable facts. Leek Moss has the honorable facts. I'm always going to back honor to the highest degree. So at the end of the day, for all the youngest that's out here, know that this is not a bully match. Because I know y'all looking like, hold on, these guys are, you know, they're going to go a little further. We're not. We're not looking for anything negative. We're looking for all positive vibes. We want to sign out and make sure y'all tune in. We got Manny215 on the next episode. And guess what? It's EP number two. We had Black Poppy first. We're going in the honorable direction. Live and direct.